Hey, it's Maggie K. So this is day two in Tokyo, and I'm not going to be in Tokyo. Um, yeah, I, it took me a year to come to Tokyo, and I'm not spending my first full day in Tokyo. Um, I'm heading down to, I forget what station it is, in Kanagawa Prefecture. I think it's in Yokohama City, I'm not sure. And from there, I'm gonna take a boat over to the Chiba Peninsula to Nokogiriyama, which is like this mountain, and there's a really big Buddha, and I'm gonna meet up with Ozzy, awesome. It should be a fun day outside of Tokyo. <laughs> The ferry was actually pretty nice. It was a decent size. There was multiple seating areas and places to buy food or snacks or drinks if you wanted to. The whole ride was only about 40 minutes, so it wasn't very long and before you knew it, we had arrived. So we are here at the fish. And, and we want to go to the rural Poe. Like it's that way? Over there? I'm trying to even figure out which activity up here is, right? Okay. So... I was looking it up, it should only be about like a 13 minute walk. Okay, so we walk, I would say we walk along the edge yeah. of the water, right? Cool. Alright, so we have made it to the ropeway. Which is, I guess, I'm assuming you could probably hike up there. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. we're gonna take the rope way. Yeah, because we gotta go up there anyway and walk around. But. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty affordable. It's 9:30 round trip. So I guess we'll see you at the top. No Fuji today. So from this we are going to head right up there to that little cliff area. So this is what we have to climb to get to that jaggedy edge part. Okay, it's pretty easy to do along the side. This seems pretty easy too. This isn't actually very like scary or intimidating because it feels pretty solid. So I don't think it's that terrifying or scary. I think it just looks terrifying if you're like over there and you see me out here. Or if an earthquake comes, I think that would be scary. Okay, so this is the biggest stone Buddha in Japan, apparently. And it's 31 meters tall, I think. Yeah. And so yeah, I'm actually kind of impressed with this. Like it is legit a big Buddha because coming from where I am in Oita, we have Ustiki with all of the stone Buddhas that are really old. They are nowhere near this size. Like, not even close to this size, but um, I think the ones in Usuki are older, though I'm not entirely sure how old 
this guy is. But yeah, definitely a cool, cool stone Buddha. Just to see perspective, perspective. Look how, look how tiny Ozzy is and how big that Buddha is. Also, another thing to note is giant Buddha. There's two people, not including me. <laughs> you would think that there'd be a giant crowd here, but there isn't. That's so pretty. And there's like a little bench here and table right by the Buddha. That's legit. Well, this sucks. I think up there is the main temple, you can kind of see the stuff. But it's under construction. Renovations? Something? So that's a little disappointing not to see the temple. And they do have this little map here, you can... You can kind of see what it's like. Through there you can kind of see more of the temple. That's the temple we can't get to. Yeah, I'm too short, but <laughs> you can kind of see what it looks like. <laughs> I guess an escalator would take away some of the, like, <laughs> An escalator would be handy right now. Yeah. Oof. Oh, you can see more of the temple. Temple. Yeah. I was like, at first, I was like, we're kind of lame taking like the rope way up, whatever. And, and like even when I mentioned, because like my friends didn't have any idea about this place. Yeah. But when I said I was gonna go here, they're like, "Oh, so you're not really like hiking the mountain? You're taking a rope way? Yeah. Do you know how many stairs we have climbed today? Thousands. It has to be. <laughs> There's so many stairs, and it it looks like on a map, it looks like it's this like little area. Right. But there are so many like. Mountains and, and stairs in between around. all of them, yeah. and none are on the same level. Yeah, there's giant staircases in between everything. Yeah. <sighs> it's a winding road. <laughs> so we just finished a giant staircase. You can totally see there's more giant staircases right there. Hell yeah. In clusters between the giant staircases were the 1500 hand carved arhat. A lot of them have been damaged by one means or another, and you can find some pretty unusual looking statues. These are like all the headless ones, and then right here they're like, watch your head. <laughs> they're not very sensitive, these people. <laughs> okay, so we made it back to the ropeway after climbing millions of stairs. I brought it up from maybe it was a thousand to like, <laughs> it was definitely a million, or at least it felt like that. But we're back at the ropeway, and I think we have some time before the uh, car, ropeway, whatever, sure. gondola, whatever it's called, comes. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna wait inside because I think that's the ferry there. I don't think we're making oh, that right. one. Oh, yeah, yeah. The ferry right there. <laughs> it's like a, it is about a 13 minute walk from here to. The boat so yeah. we'll, we probably won't make yeah. and the ferry comes once an hour yeah we're not gonna make it yeah. but we're gonna go inside yeah. because nice if they have it it's just too hot to be outside i don't know if any Am of us sweaty? Can you see the sweat on me uh, i'm on dark oh. <laughs> i sweat like two liters of pokari sweat i'm definitely <laughs> sweaty and gross now so we went down to the ropeway waiting area and there are a ton of stray cats. There are stray cats everywhere in Japan from my experience. So to see them up in the mountain was 
so great. I love cats and seeing them made me so happy. been on video yet yeah um, probably your voice in your head okay that's cool how's it <laughs> but, going guys hope um, you guys enjoy the video yeah so <laughs> we are at Yokohama station and this is where we're kind of like splitting off he's going back to where he lives and I'm heading back down I don't know what I'm gonna do the rest of the day but um yeah it's been fun I had a fun day yeah, it, was it was your fun. first time too yes it was my first time even though I've been here in Tokyo for like four years but <laughs> Yeah, but it was fun. It was tiring, the stairs. The stairs. The stairs were crazy. I'm gonna nice. be linking his channel down below if you don't know him yet. Ozzy um, Awesome. Ozzy Awesome. Uh, fun <laughs> stuff. I feel like you're more educational than I am. Really? I don't know. I like your videos, they're cool. Thanks, but yeah, yeah he has good videos. You should check him out and yeah, goodbye. And nice meeting you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm back at the hospital now and I just stopped off at the pharmacy. Because since last night my throat has been kind of scratchy and itchy so I wanted to pick up some throat spray to help with that and hopefully not develop into a full-blown cold and I also got just some little snacks to take into like my bag when I'm around if I get hungry and some band-aid because I have a couple of scabs on the back of my ankles from wearing the wrong socks with certain shoes and I kicked one of the scabs off today which hurt and it bled so I need some band-aids. Um, so basically I now need to just figure out what I want to do for dinner. Um, apparently the hostel's having like a little takoyaki party so um, maybe I'll join that? I don't know. I don't really feel like takoyaki. I mean, I love takoyaki, but I don't know if I feel like it right now. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for dinner. It's like 7.30, almost eight, I think. What time is it? Yeah, it's almost eight. I don't know what I'm, I need to figure out something for dinner, but <sighs> gotta put some band-aids on first. So I did the takoyaki thing and now I'm just gonna go to bed. I'm tired, it's 10 o'clock. And I'm tired from all the walking today, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe because I'll be back with another one soon. Bye.